You know what's weird is that when there's these big fires and people are being moved out of their houses, people's fire houses burned down, people snap into action. Oh, those people's houses burned down, the Red Cross shows up, they give them things, blankets and what have you, and here's this and food, and people are donating, all that stuff, which is great. But right in those same communities are plenty of homeless people already, and they don't help them. Isn't that weird? So people, if your house burns down... Uh, You have an army of people coming to help you, and they're probably going to drive right past a bunch of people sleeping under a bridge. Isn't that weird? So uh, it's weird that there's homeless people. That's just messed up in this country, that there's homeless people. And lots of them are children. Children are homeless. Children. 2.5 million children are homeless in the United States each year. Well, guess what? We've got a good program in San Francisco, that liberal bastion. They have a good program to combat it. You want to hear? Here it is. Good news. From Business Insider, robots are being used to deter homeless people from setting up camp in San Francisco. Oh, jeez. What? Yeah. Here we go. The San Francisco Business Times reported last week that the San Francisco SPCA, an animal advocacy and pet adoption group, put a security robot to work outside its facilities in the gentrifying Mission neighborhood. That's nice that they they, they want to save animals, but get rid of the people. <laughs> That's a little effed up maybe, huh? Yeah. The robot's presence... Ron, the robot's presence is meant to deter homeless people from setting up camps along the sidewalks. Last week, the city of San Francisco ordered the San Francisco SPCA to keep its robot off the streets or be fined up to $1,000 per day for operating on sidewalks without a permit. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Chris Maloney, media relations manager for the San Francisco SPCA, told Business Insider that staff wasn't able to safely use the sidewalks at times because of the encampments. So your safety walking supersedes someone's safety living? They don't have a place to frickin' live. And you're like, hey, I can't walk. (laughs) Maybe walk around them. How about walk around them, Krista? What the F? (laughs) Hey, we can't walk safely. These people don't have a house. I mean, fuck them. I got to get to my my job helping animals. And these fucking animals are in my way. Right? (laughs) Isn't this crazy? Yeah, this is pretty nuts. Maloney added that since the SPCA started guarding its facilities with the robot known as K-9... A month ago, the <laughs> homeless en- the homeless encampments have dwindled and there have been fewer car break-ins. Hey, Krista, you're a horrible person. How the hell do you end up working for a charity? Shouldn't you be working for Rupert Murdoch? Or Wall Street? Or, or Exxon, how do you end up working for a charity? How does a person who's that callous to fucking human beings who are in, in need, in crisis, and you're like, well, let's get a robot to scare him away. What is wrong with you? A lot. I'll tell you that, a lot. Here, here it is. Here's the, there, there's, the, there's the robot. Guy's name's headed this guy. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. They have one down at Microsoft right now. There it is. It says SPCA right on the side of it. You see it? See what it says SPCA right so wait, there? Do the robots do anything? Like, like what do they Well, like? it's actually equipped with a camera, GPS, lasers, and thermal sensors that can alert authorities about any illegal activity it comes across. So I I, I don't know, maybe it was Maybe it was running over the... I don't know how it was getting rid of them, but it was not good. Man, I you know, I remember one time I, I had to take a bus out of New York City, 
uh, and my bus was leaving like super early in the morning. It was like like 4 a.m. or something. And what they do, or it was later than that, but it was like like right before sunrise. And what they do in like Manhattan is they don't want like they'll let the homeless people sleep there, but they want to get them off before like tourists are going to be out or the sun rises. So they have this like big truck that just drives around and like blasts music. And I could like the day that I saw it, the music they were blasting was the song "Fortunate Son" by CCR. And I was like, that's just a special brand of cruel. Like, like I'd never seen anything like it. And like I'd the way people were reacting was, was you could tell like this was part of their daily routine. Like I'm I get, you know, I'm I, I get woken up by this blaring music and it forces me out. And it's a it's a socio political song too to really rub salt in the wound. Like it was just I'd never seen anything like it. And and this reminds me of that. Like that's what this that made me think of. You never hear a politician talk about solving our homeless problem ever, never, not never ever. You never hear Nancy Pelosi. I've never heard Nancy Pelosi or Dianne Feinstein or Chuck Schumer or Tom Perez. I never heard Barack Obama talk about it. Did you? Mm-mm. There's no left in America anymore. Just so you know that this uh, particular SPCA has decided to halt use of this robot. Oh no, kidding. Well, how humanitarian of you, huh? San Francisco SPCA. Krista. What's her name? Krista Maloney. Hey, how about shame on you, Krista Maloney? How about you go home and you you ask your mom, what went wrong when she raised you? (laughs) There have been fewer car break-ins. Oh, thank God. How about those people? Are they still homeless, though? Yeah, but we've had fewer car break-ins. But those people are still homeless and in crisis. Yeah, but we're not supposed to care about them. The robot has a kitten on it. (laughs) Like, totally overlooking there's a bigger problem than car break-ins. There's fucking people without homes, asshole. What the fuck? In San Francisco, surrounded by millionaires. Surrounded by, I couldn't afford to live in San Francisco. Really, that's the best answer Silicon Valley can come up with to help right. uh, rid the streets in San Francisco of homeless is this cute little robot. That's that's your decision, Silicon Valley. Wow. You can't uh, use all your uh, intellect and genius right? to solve an issue. Like, we were just having this conversation, Jimmy, that we don't understand why all these billionaires don't get together and throw in what? a percent of their billions to rid our country of homelessness and to build housing? I read somewhere that it would cost around $20 billion to end homelessness in the United States. Jeff Bezos is worth over a hundred. What about the guy who runs Facebook? So he's worth billions and billions, 50 billion. Mm -hmm. Then there's also Warren Buffett. There's also the guy who runs Microsoft, Bill Gates. So all those people are worth at least 50 billion each. If they all just gave five billion, you could end it, and then and they they wouldn't even feel it. But they're not doing that, isn't that weird? How about when Jeff Bezos put out a thing? Hey, I'd like to do some philanthropy. Any any ideas? Yeah, how about you pay your workers a living wage, you dick? <laughs> how about you start there? Well, also, what a what a crappy use of technology. And I mean, remember there was that professor out of Berkeley, like in the Bay Area, that did that experiment where he wanted to prove how much food we waste in this country. So, like for like a whole month. He spent no money on food. He just, like, dumpster dove, and he got, like, good food. And he's like, yeah, this is what we waste every day. Couldn't they have just as easily taken these robots and had them distribute food to homeless people? Couldn't they have done that? Like, like picked it up from restaurants that need to dispose of it for the day, bring it to homeless people? Like, As Bill Hicks said, instead of shooting missiles at poor people around the country, why don't we use that technology to shoot food at them? Wow. What is going on in this country? That's you know you would think that it's something that was that would happen somewhere in uh, some some ignorant part of the country, right? Not in San Francisco. That's happening in the SPCA in San Francisco. Wow, wow, that's supposed. Wow, isn't that that's like that's weird? That's one of the cities you count on to like set a good example. Yeah, and it's the SPCA. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be such great people that they care not about about animals. That's how 
empathetic they are, but they just don't give a shit about people. So if those were dogs outside without a place to live, you'd take them in, right? They would take them in. If those were all dogs and cats, you'd take them inside. <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, and I mean, and hey, I'm all about animal rights, you know, like, like, I, like, but yeah. As David it's... Feldman once said, you know, we have a humane society for animals. How about we have a humane society for human beings? Yep. That's a novel idea. Humane society for human beings. Okay, well, please make sure you're still subscribed to our show because they're unsubscribing people. Even if you think you are, check and then hit subscribe and click the bell so you'll get a notice every time we drop a video. And if you can support the show by becoming a patron or joining our premium program through PayPal, we give you lots of extra content every week. And you can buy a T-shirt or a mug right below for the holidays to help support the show. Thanks for your support.